Each year, around 200 riders take to France's streets and mountains as select few battle it out for the Melojon. With just two stages to go in the 2017 race, three-time winner Chris Froome is favorite to wear yellow when Latour finishes in Paris on Sunday. He leads by 23 seconds from Frenchman Romain Bartet with Colombian Rigoberto year and a further six seconds adrift. The origin of the yellow jersey is a subject of much conjecture. The winner of the first tour in 1903, Maurice Aaron, wore a green armband but as the race's popularity increased, writers and journalists complained they couldn't pick out the leader. The first mention of a yellow jersey being worn came from Belgian Philippe This who, when leading Latour in 1913, said he was asked to wear a colored Top by race organizer Henri Desgrange. This initially declined, arguing he would be too easily visible to chasing riders, only to change his mind when asked by the team manager at his sponsor, Peugeot. According to official Tour de France records, the first yellow jersey was worn by race. Leader Eugene Christophe prior to the 11th stage of the 1919 edition. With the stage getting Underway at 2 a.m., Desgrange decided Christoph needed to be easily identifiable in the dark. Read, a man with no platform is a lost man, says Lance Armstrong and doing so, Desgrange inadvertently went on to create cycling's most iconic piece of clothing and since then, only a select few riders have got to frequently pull on the Mallow John. Frenchman Jacques Anquetil, a five-time tour de France. Winner, wore the jersey for 50 days between 1957 and 1964, before compatriot Bernard Hinault went on to wear it for 75 days between 1978 and 1986. Then came the turn of Eddie Merckx, widely regarded as the best rider of all time, who dominated for 96 days from 1969 to 1975. Finally, Spaniard and Five-time tour winner Miguel Indurain wore yellow for 60 days between 1991 and 1995. In total, over 2,100 yellow jerseys have been awarded to nearly 300 riders.